So see the general nature of the humor. How about that? Hey, uh, can I get that gel? <laughs> so you forgot to do your hair this morning? No, I just want that gel. I don't got no hair. Oops. Man, everybody's got all these nice phones and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Man, all got all these cheap phones. phones. Got some doodle. Is that a real phone? Yeah, no, it's a fake phone. Of course, it's a real phone. Very good. So, you guys remember that I told you about that stuff called the tapetum? Look at the back of the eye. So, whenever you look at a cow or a cat's eyes or something like that, careful, don't take it out of there yet. Leave it. You guys see that green part, though? Everybody see the green part? Yeah. So that's the tapetum lucitum. That's why cat's eyes and cow eyes. Wait, hold on, you're gonna smear the retina. That's why cow's eyes and cat's eyes glow green. But notice this fluidy part on the back here. I'm gonna. Well, move over there. No. No. Green battery. What you man? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape away this outer layer, and you see it kind of pulls off. See how thin this back layer is? That's how thin the back layer of cells are that are made up of rods and cones that sense light when we look in our eyes. See how I'm kind of just scratching it around there? It's a super thin layer. And if you notice, right here is your blind spot, or the cow's blind spot. That is where the optic nerve goes into the eye. So we'll see some blood vessels associated with it. And that is how light is sensed in the back of the eye and then sent as information towards the brain. And notice... The tapetum yeah. lucidum, if you guys see, is all stuck right on that part. That part of the eye is where the blind spot is because there's no rods and cones because the optic nerves. All right. So we've seen the tapetum. We know why cow's eyes and cat's eyes and mammal's eyes generally glow greenish blue at night because it reflects light off the back. They have a very strong one because animals need to see it at night a lot better than we do. Maybe ours would be strong if we hadn't developed electricity a long time ago and now we can see at night because we have light. We don't have to worry about this. So that's that. What I also would like to do here now is take out the vitreous humor here. Boop. And if you notice, what is left on the front is the cornea. You can see my finger through it. The color of the cow's eyes, which you notice his iris is mostly black and brown. Yes. Nitrous glycerine? Yeah. I think they're saying it wrong. It's a uh, nitroglycerin. All right, nitroglycerin. It's just an explosive, explosive liquid. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so, if you guys see, a lot of some of the color of the iris got left on here. So what I'm going to do really quick is pop out the lens. But what the? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Feel free, I want you guys to poke that. Feel how jelly it is. You don't have to poke it, of course. You don't even have to look if you want to close your eyes. gotta eat brunch. <laughs> but you feel how jelly-like it is. And that's so the light doesn't diffract anymore as it goes through. Weird, right? Anyone else want to feel? Weird, huh? So, what I have taken out of here is... Oh, my God. And <laughs> dropped on the floor. No, it's slippery. Believe it or not. Here's the lens. Dude, dry it. Notice, is this a concave lens? If I dry it, it'll scratch the surface. It's like a marble. Right, it's kind of like a squished marble, but if you look sideways, it's not perfectly round. Right? But is this concave or convex? Convex. Convex, absolutely. So... Should it magnify stuff or make it smaller? Magnify. Absolutely. Oops, I got cow eye all over it. Notice I don't want to get eye in my eye. I have my things coming. Watch. I want you to look through the lens as I move it across over the words. Bloop. Yeah, supervision. A magnifying glass. And that's how I can focus. Yeah. Are you throw it away? You guys want to see this? Look at the magnet. Oh, that was sick. Don't touch that. Man, we did.